Between now and March 2020, anyone visiting Uganda's national parks and reserves, local or foreign, will do so at half price. For instance, instead of paying 20,000 shillings, entering a national park until March will cost you 10,000 shillings. This, it is hoped, will get Ugandans to visit. Uh, the perception that Ugandans don't visit is not correct. Ugandans visit, but we need more to come. We need more to come so that uh, they enjoy the, 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 the nature that God has given them. Um, climb the hills of Buindi or drive on the plains of Karamoja and, and enjoy the God-given gifts that we have in this country. So we are we, we, encouraging uh, Ugandans, East Africans to come and visit. I know they are coming, but we can have more. The Uganda Wildlife Authority has also suffered a revenue drop due to COVID-19 of about 95%, for which any local tourism will help or meet the operational costs. The 1.6 obviously effect and impact of COVID, which makes our operations extremely complicated because we make we, we utilize a minimum of 5 billion shillings a month. What is evidently missing in the war efforts to bring Ugandans to the parks is the private sector like the lodge owners. Perhaps a more concerted effort could have almost delivered the desired impact. Joanita Mbabazi, NTV Business.